London by William Blake, 1757 to 1827. I wander through each chartered street, near where the chartered Thames does flow, and mark in every face I meet marks of weakness, marks of woe. In every cry of every man, in every infant's cry of fear, in every voice, in every band, the mind-forged manacles I hear. How the chimney-sweepers cry, every blackening church appalls, and the hapless soldier's sigh runs in blood down palace walls. But most through midnight streets I hear how the youthful harlot's curse blasts the newborn infant's tear and blights with plagues the marriage house. Wow. Okay, this is by William Blake. William Blake was born and brought up in London. Um, he attended school and, uh, and was taught to read and write, but little more. Um, he's very famous for, well, for his poems, uh, and he's also famous for his um, engraving, so he was an artist as well. So, what's this about? Well, this poem is about London, uh, and this poem is a very harsh criticism of London. This poem criticises... Um, society, it criticises uh, the king, it criticises the church, um, it, it says that, that what is happening in society is not right and uh, there needs to be change. He's talking about the suffering of the uh, poor people in London while the rich live uh, wonderful lives at the expense of the poor, or at the expense of the suffering of the poor. So, I wander through each chartered street near where the chartered Thames does flow. So, he's walking through the streets of London, and this word chartered, um, I think this gives the idea that the, uh, that the streets are um, you can only go down these streets um, and that the Thames can only flow in the direction that um, the powers that be let it go let it flow and I think this is a metaphor saying that people are only allowed to do the things that um, uh, the people in power let them do that the rich let them do and mark in every face I meet, marks of weakness, marks of woe. So, in every face I see, I can see weakness and woe. Woe is unhappiness, is suffering, is sorrow. And here, weakness, I, th I, I quite like this word weakness, because I think it works in two different ways. Firstly, it can say that the people are tired. Yeah, that um, they they spend their lives working, and then also I think this word weakness is um, alluding to moral weakness as well. Um, that uh, mm, it's easy for people to sin. So weakness of both of body and of spirit. In every cry of every man, in every infant's cry of fear, in every voice, in every band, the mind-forged manacles I hear. So I'm going to start with this last line, the mind-forged manacles. Manacles are handcuffs to cuff you together, to stop you from moving. When you get arrested, you, you get manacled. Yeah, and forged means made yeah so here he's talking about handcuffs or uh, restrictions that 
are in our mind and here he's saying that um, society um, creates uh, restrictions in our mind yeah and uh, I think here there is a, a difference between what is morally right and what is morally wrong and the the things that um, society says we can and can't do which are not necessarily at all the uh, things that are morally right so he can hear he can see he can understand he can notice that um, there are uh, that society has po has put mental restrictions on uh, the people and th these restrictions this lack of freedom this lack of personal freedom he can see in the crying men in the crying of uh, in, of babies that are afraid yeah in every person's voice and in every ban okay a ban is a legal restriction and I think very often bans legal restrictions I think very often law is made to um, protect the property of the rich against the poor and I think this this is what he's talking about how the chimney sweepers cry every blackening church appalls so the chimney sweeps the chimney sweeps were the poorest members of society normally they were orphaned children um and because they had to climb up and down chimneys um they their light their life expectancy was very short due to the um soot and the pollution within the within the chimneys and these people were these um, orphans were looked after by the church and here every blackening church appalls so I think he to to appall to be disgusted so um, he's here he's saying that the way the church um, acts and it doesn't act to stop this poverty to stop children having to go uh, up chimneys because it's the only thing they can do to get food uh, and this is black this is blackening the the church so here this is a very clear um, criticism of the church he's saying they need to do something about these chimney sweeps they need to um, give them uh, a possibility of living uh, a, 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 a real free life and not having to being forced to do this and the hapless soldiers sigh runs in blood down palace walls so hapless luckless without luck and the unlucky soldiers sigh ah oh, it runs in blood down palace walls okay so the the size of soldiers are running in blood down the walls of the palace here he's criticizing the king and the, the monarchy um, he's saying that um, the monarchy is using uh, the poor luckless soldiers yeah um, as toys in their political battles with um, different with di with uh, different nations yeah and uh, the soldiers pay for this with their blood and the poor soldiers they don't have um, uh, other possibilities but most through midnight street I streets I hear how the youthful harlots curse blasts the newborn infant's tear and blights the pl with plagues the marriage hearse okay so the word you need here is harlot a harlot is a prostitute and I think the thing that upsets him most in in the streets of London is to hear young prostitutes are uh, uh, suffering cursing 
newborn infant the newborn crying infants um and cl here clearly um it uh the this is um echoing the fact that uh, their innocence and youth of these young prostitutes has been taken away and it's not clear if the newborn infant is the young girl's own baby or if she's looking after somebody else's baby so he's saying that the uh the streets are full of young young prostitutes who um ha have no other opportunity but to no other way of living but to prostitute themselves on the streets and uh, he's saying that uh, the presence of these blight with plagues the marriage hearse. So um, he's now say, say, saying that uh, this is a source of sex outside of marriage, which is a very bad thing. And he's also criticizing marriage because notice this phrase, a hearse is the vehicle that carries dead bodies. So here he's also saying it, that marriage itself is um, another of these uh, restrictions and that uh, he, he's criticizing marriage because it forces people to um, go with the system, to do what the system says because they have people that they love and they have to look after. Okay, I didn't do this word blight as well. To blight is something that uh, kills or poisons or gives disease to. Yeah, so uh, he's saying here that he thinks the worst thing in London is the fact, or the worst thing about the society in London is the fact that uh, young girls are forced out onto the streets to sell themselves. Uh, and this takes away their their uh, their youth and their innocence, and it destroys them. So, a very black and very critical poem by William Blake. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. London by William Blake.